Alright. I don't think the wind will wash that out. I can't say for sure whether it will or won't. Uh, does that look all right? Yes. Well, I mean, I'm just... Oh. <laughs> Having issues. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, we're back with round two. Of she's surprising me. So. Okay, just to tell you about this, it says guarantee, guaranteed not to contain apes. Every job blended in the U.S. by humans. So that's a good thing. That already kind of gives me an idea. Damn, it does, doesn't it? But go ahead. I think. I shouldn't have read that. Nope. I'm not sure, but I think. <laughs> you just go by your smell. If it's cinnamon, I'm going to know. Cinnamon? Never mind, then. It's going to be interesting. I hope the wind doesn't wash it out. We're going to speak up a little bit for you guys. That's real apple. Banana. Yep. Banana. I gave it away by the apes. It's got an apple nose, a little bit of an apple nose, and then it just fades right straight into banana. Definitely smells like banana. Yep. You sure can't smell that whiskey in it, though, or bourbon or whatever. It I don't is. know if it's bourbon in that. That's going to be. It stinks. Boy, it's got some hellacious legs on it. Big, thick tears. That's got a high sugar content. Yep. That's 100% banana now. Once that initial surge is over. Yeah. Well, the camera died. Even though I got... I don't know why. It just dies sometimes anymore. So we're back to it. We haven't done anything. Just literally got up, turned it back on. I, I'm my camera's getting old. I've used it for a long time. It was occasionally a birthday does that. Present or something from you? Huh? Was that the camera that's a present? From yeah, you? clear wow, back when we lived in Marion. That's yeah. probably seven, eight years old at least. Heck, that went. It's been a lot of places. Yeah, it has on your bike. Yeah, it's done all the reviews. There was a few done with the camera camera. I don't know which banana whiskey it is. I don't know my banana whiskeys at all, really. So this is interesting, but the banana is a ripe banana. It's not a fresh banana. It's not even a banana like you get on a uh, Jack Daniels when you get that banana note on there. This is pure 100% ripe banana. Almost like them candy bananas, the little chewable candy bananas. Exactly. It smells like banana to me. There is some alcohol tinge to it, but I can't say. I wouldn't oh. call it bourbon. I wouldn't call it. I don't know what I would call it. I'd just. I don't know whiskey wise what they used, whether it's neutral grain spirits or whatever. But we'll wait for just a second. Let's get in the palate, see what we got.
very thick. <laughs> very, very thick. That's all. It doesn't agree with her. There is something. There is a bit of a whiskey. Taste it. Kentucky straight there's a little whiskey. There's, yeah, there's a little barrel action there. Howlerhead monkey spirit. Oh. 80 proof, at least this one made 80 proof. Yeah. You don't get it so much in the nose as far as the bourbon, it just comes more of an alcohol note. But in the palate, you get the bourbon effect, you get the barrel effect. Uh, there, is a, there is a definitive oak note in it. I don't know uh, about oak. Well, if it's Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, that means it's. Hmm. It, it's uh, I don't know. It doesn't say less than four years, so. But I can find anywhere on it, so. But who knows? Get our paws on, get a kick of oak, a whirl of sweetness, and some straight from the jungle banana rama goodness. And that they hit it, literally, they hit it right on the nail, guys. Everything I've said. So what would you use so, this for? The only thing you're going to use is you're going to drink it straight. There's, I don't know what. I would use it for anything other than you just got to drink it straight. Maybe if you made a banana daiquiris or something that I've never made before. I don't use it for nothing. I don't know. But. Improved. Who's it made by? That's what I was trying to figure out. Who's it made by? No, not made by, but the, the distiller. Bottled by. Willer Brands. Brands. North. Charleston, Charleston, South, South Carolina. Carolina. Bottled by hmm. Terracentia Corporation. So it does got Kentucky bourbon straight whiskey in it. You get that, and that's where some of the apple note came from. It's from the bourbon itself before the banana kicked in. So I'm getting everything that I should be getting on this. But it is, this one's almost sickly sweet. This one's a little over the edge on the sweetness, even more than the peanut butter whiskey to me. I'll call him back later, I don't know who. You're a busy man. No, no. Guys, that's what it is. But the, <laughs> believe it or not, though, it does have some, it's the sugar in this that's giving it a little long lasting flavor on your tongue. It dwells on top of your tongue, right where the sweetness sits. Uh, and nothing else to say about it. Other than it's interesting. It's a little gross. <laughs> it's got a high note of banana and a burn as it goes down <laughs> for me. Um, yeah. Do we like, what, what did I get the last time? The peanut butter whiskey. Oh, do we like the peanut butter or the banana the best? If they would make it I her, actually like the banana a little better because I like the... the the more of the bourbon, I get a little more bourbon with this one. I didn't get that with the peanut butter. So the lingering notes, the little lingering notes of bourbon that come through past the banana is really, it's a little bit more complex. I think they Doesn't should taste lower like the, the burning content. They can't lower the burning content, baby. I mean, it dropped the ABV, but that's not really gonna lower the burning content for you, honey. I love you, but you're just not a... I'm not a drinker. No. It's just not your thing. But, it's interesting stuff. I'm... Did I impress you on my choice? <laughs> yeah, you're a flavored whiskey girl. Not really, I don't like it. But you're a flavored whiskey buying girl. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, maybe next time it won't be flavored. But it's... Uh... This one way you know you're not getting anything that I got in the basement. 
because I don't buy flavored whiskey. So. You never have to worry about doubling up anyway. Howlerhead. I wonder Howler where they head. came up for that. I don't know, but I'll finish it. I just don't know what I'd use it in. Yeah, we can put that on the shelf forever. Well, guys, that's going to be it. Remember, the spirit in your glass ain't running from you. Take your time, sip, and enjoy it. You'll be better for it, as will we all. If you want a lot of banana and a little bourbon, try well, a That's a lot of bourbon. 80 proof. Flavor-wise, there's more bourbon, uh, banana flavors than bourbon flavors coming through. Okay. All right. All right. See you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.